on October 24, 2019, an important event took place in Toronto. The launch of the English language translation of Volume 5 of Mikhailo Khrushchevsky's magnum opus, History of Ukraine Rus. Over 100 people were in attendance at the launch, which was held at the elegant and posh Old Mill, Toronto. The fundamental 10-volume history of Ukraine Rus was written by Ukraine's foremost historian, Mikhailo Khrushchevsky. This history played a crucial role not only in the development of Ukrainian scholarship, but also in the evolution of the Ukrainian national identity and the formation of the concept of Ukrainian statehood. Volume 5 of History of Ukraine Rus focuses on the social, political, and church structures and relations of the Ukrainian lands during the 14th to 17th centuries. Marta Skorupski and Marta D. Olinik translated the text, and Professor Miron Kapral was a scholarly editor. Eminent historian Dr. Frank Sisson is the editor-in-chief of the Khrushchevsky Translation Project at the Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies. Hi, Frank. Could you please tell me about the subject matter of Volume 5 of Mikhailo Khrushchevsky's History of Ukraine Rus and why Khrushchevsky's study of the subject matter is important for Ukrainian historical studies overall? Volume 5 belongs to the middle cycle of Khrushchevsky's History of Ukraine Rus. If the first cycle dealt with the Old Rus period, the period of the Old Rus Ukrainian state, and the third cycle dealt with the Cossack rebirth of Ukraine and the formation of the Cossack state in Hetmanate. The middle cycle de deals with a period when Ukrainians are stateless and under both Lithuanian and Polish rule. And Ruszewski wrote three volumes. The first one dealt just with how these lands came under Poland and Lithuania. The third of these, that is volume six, deals with economy, everyday life, and how the population of Ukraine changed under the rule. But this middle one deals with his attempt and analysis of what the social strata were of Ukrainian society, what were the institutions, political institutions that controlled them, and how the church developed during this period. Because the church in many ways provided continuity for Ukrainian Rus society in a period when there was no state, and ultimately led uh, to the Union of Brest, uh, that is, uh, the union of part of the Ukrainian Orthodox faithful uh, to the Church of Rome. This was, of course, a very controversial act, but for Ruszewski, the end of the 16th century was a period of the beginning of the national rebirth in Ukrainian territory and a new Ukrainian culture of that time. It's also extremely interesting because it's the first volume for which Ruszewski says, I have too many sources. <laughs> now, that may surprise the reader, but until then, he could feel that he could master almost all sources. He could examine them and create his narrative out of them. But of course, eventually, and in later periods, there are more abundant sources. So he faced a whole new set of problems. And I think it's very interesting to look at how he dealt with them and how yet he was able to continue his grand narrative on to the Cossack period. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Tanya Stech, and this was Ukraine in the News.